Welcome to Green Mage Gaming, the show where we play all the games while powered up on special treats. I'm John. And I'm Katie. And today I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking down at the microphone <laughs> because I'm a fucking... Welcome to Green Mage Gaming. Welcome to Green Mage Gaming. Welcome to Green Mage Gaming, the show where we play all the games while powered up on special treats. Quit fussing I'm trying to find the I <laughs> trying to find the most ideal place for my damn glass. Welcome to Green Mage Gaming, the show where we play all the games while powered up on special treats. I'm John. And I'm Katie. And today we're gonna be fucking up again. <laughs> Welcome to Green Mage Gaming, the show where we play all the games while powered up on special treats. I'm John. And I'm Katie. And today we are going to try something a little different. We're going to introduce a new segment we call Demo Delights, where we play some of the latest, maybe sometimes the lamest, demos uh, available on various platforms. Tonight we are going with the Switch. Woo. So without any further fucking around, <laughs> let's go get powered up and we'll be back with the demos. Yeah! We totally missed! <laughs> Super Phantom Cat, go! Erdy. So this is, uh, in some ways, kind of your average platformer, but it is uh, presented in such an adorable cube blocky kitty kind of thing it's just cute it's adorable it's I, don't, cute. I don't know what else to say. you shouldn't even be allowed um, to play this because you don't I'm like cats now let's set the record straight I, I do like cats i just kind of don't like hair all over my house and um cat and farts cat, cats, what <laughs> you fart more cat, than cat no nah, don't, don't go there now <laughs> cutting room floor so this is Professor Mew Mew. No, I actually don't know his name. Mewzles! But just listen to the music, it's adorable. That is pretty darn cute. This is, uh... It's like if Mario was a cat. It does obviously have some significant Mario stuff going on here with breaking coins and blocks. Breaking coins. Breaking them coins, baby! Collecting coins <laughs> and breaking blocks. It's not necessarily in that order. Um, but later on in the game here... There are some... I thought he was going to attack me. There are some <laughs> uh, interesting mechanics they introduce. Which the growing of the vines and all that stuff. This is Mario for cats. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's a good way to put it. Yes. I guess. Well, and you don't start out the game as this Professor Kitty, but at some point I changed into him, and now I don't know how to be anybody different. Well, he's still cute. So there you go. Well, and one thing I like about him, we can't do until I'm not bouncing, hang on a second, is when you hold still, he's like, I'm gonna just I'm gonna examine bust out this. my magnifying glass yes. and do some science research. So do they have different abilities if they are a different character? I haven't quite established that, I'm not sure. That would seem to make sense. Kitty portal? Complete. I have entered the kitty portal. I wanna see them get some catnip going on here. Mm, they should do like a catnip level. We'll take turns. Don't know what song is this? Everybody knows balls in your jaws. Oh my god! It would be so nasally. Could you imagine a nasally little cat? If you don't know balls in your jaws, you're missing out. We Fellas, probably have showed the video already. Anytime by now you on want to get the smooth moves <laughs> on a lady, cue it up on your phone. Yeah, it's like the perfect like first dance song they should play mm -hmm. at prom. Anytime you want to just have a good time with your lady, you should just talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Katie's education corner. <laughs> I'm just telling. I'm a lady, and I know what ladies like, and we really <laughs> like to be sung to, like that. Like a kitty does it though, or like the original? It depends. <laughs> depends it, on what? If you're a cat person or not. Oh, okay. Makes sense. I am a cat person, so I prefer the cat version. Makes sense. <laughs> Come on, where did the robot go? Fucker, I wanted to use your jumps. Where did he go? I don't know. He wandered off the wrong way. He was like, these guys are idiots. I was, oh, I, I missed the opportunity. I'm not paying attention. I was like, I need him to jump over this little tiny step. But I, instead, I was supposed oh, to have him help me now. with that. It's okay. Nice. I was distracted thinking about balls and jaws. Balls and jaws. Uh, that's like a... 
Only if you have really strong jaw muscles. Well, and the other thing that's a little strange about the song is balls does not really rhyme with jaws. Bows. My bows. That's, that's why you gotta just say bows and your jaws. So bows and jaws. Bows and your jaws. <laughs> <laughs> I just love to sing it. I don't know why. So it's a song about um, boating <laughs> and and mm-hmm. like having flappy <laughs> neck. <laughs> Bows and jowls. Bows and jowls. <laughs> That's the the seniors version. Yes. It reminds me of the guy performing my neck, my back to, in the That was the a, amazing. Home or the that acoustic was. nursing home <laughs> version of My Neck My Back is probably the song I want to hear on my deathbed. So so shall it be. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully like eighty years from now. I would be really old. Probably won't even remember the song anymore. That what, is what, imprinted on my brain. What kind of like, like, uh, what would you call that? Sassy, funny music like that is going to be commonplace like 40 years from now. Well, 40 years from now, everybody's <laughs> going to be, be so like, desensitized by Pornhub that they're going to be like, let me finger your wreath for girl. <laughs> let me dress up like a girl and we'll fuck on the moon. <laughs> I like it. No, I'm not. I'm not even kidding because it's like no, yeah, you was... know, back in the '60s, it used to be too much for Elvis Presley to shake his hips, and then you know, in the '80s or the '70s, Rod Stewart with "Do You Think I'm Sexy" came along, and that, Is that was controversial. Yeah, I would think so. I mean, not as controversial as it would have been like 20 years before. But everything is just progressively getting raunchier and raunchier. Not to say I'm complaining, but <laughs> it's just the fact that kids nowadays are so thusly. Yes, What's they're it advanced. Be like? <laughs> I like how on the moon though. <laughs> because everybody in the future is going to be living on on the moon. Are we going to have moon colonies? Or let's fuck on Mars. Ooh. Right? Because yes. they say they're sending people to Mars. I suppose. Here. It wasn't a, a one-way trip. Yeah, you're not allowed to come back. They, they better be. Done. Be, you'd Done have key. to be fucking. Well, you have to repopulate it. So, yeah, let's. it's going to be, let's repopulate Mars, girl. Are they actually going? Or populate it, not repopulate it, <laughs> since there probably wasn't well, any population there to begin depends with. depends on if you, like, are into, like, alternative history theories and whatnot. Truth. So, it's a choose-your-own-adventure. <laughs> it is. Did I just pick the same one? Yeah. How do I go back? Hit B. It says back. B for back. Well. <laughs> B is universally back. B is back. for back. <laughs> it's good enough for me. Check out like the, yeah, I bet it won't let us play any of these since we're only in the demo, but we should try one of these Let's other see ones. It. No. Horrid. Yeah. All right. Well, this go is adorable. Oh, kitties go to heaven. Ooh, you found this. Look at me. I'm assuming 99 coins gets you something like any other game. Nine chish. <laughs> nine chish. Nine. Is that how it goes? Fuck. <laughs> Luft balloons. I should not sing. Yes, you should. No. <laughs> You're, it's gonna be gold. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad. All at my expense. No. We're in this together, man. I don't hear you singing. I was singing the, the kitty cat song a minute ago. The kitty cat jaws, jowls, bow jowls. Bow. Kitty cat jowls. <laughs> kitty cat balls. Can I put my mouths in your paws? Paws? paws in your mouths. Meow. Meow. <laughs> 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 I'm getting wild with it because I'm brown. 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 I'm going to get home tonight, and my cat's going to be brown all over. Ow! (laughs) Ow! Darlene! (laughs) Darlene! DJ! (laughs) Dan! Jackie! Well, that was Super Super Phantom Remake Cat for the Nintendo Switch. It's adorable. Uh, it's it's adorable. Would you would you purchase it? Would you Mm-mm. add it to your arsenal? Mm. 
I mean, I guess if I wanted something, I don't know if it gets more difficult, if I wanted something more simple to play. Yeah. Uh, I think I would spend like five bucks on it, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because mm-hmm. the kids probably would enjoy it as well. On to the next. So this is Swim Out, a very unique and strange puzzle game. Super relaxing, though. Relaxing in a way, yeah. Like I, I actually really like the presentation. I think it's really weird and interesting. So, all right. Well, we'll just take it from... Very unique. Yes. Where is my cursor? Okay, there we go. Uh, excuse me. I'll, I'll take it from the very first level so that we get the point here. So okay. you, you move up, down, left, or right, only one square at a time. So, and you're always trying to get to a ladder to exit the pool. Thus, the title, Swim Out. Yeah! Um, but as you will see, you move once, and your opponents move once. And you cannot overlap. And you cannot overlap. I should probably add that. So obviously I cleared that. Um, but it gets progressively more challenging. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? I'm laughing at the game. Oh. <laughs> it's just so funny, like, <laughs> like the short bursts of movement. <laughs> Like, who swims mm. like that? Well, I like how it, like, I don't know. I like the really, like, pastel colors. It looks like watercolors. Yeah. It's really pretty. I've always wanted to know how to watercolor paint. Really? Yes. I don't know why. I think I just like the way it, the art looks so much. And you can't bump into, like, anybody in red, basically. The ladies on the yes, edge of the pool the, and the stuff. Yes, the loungers yeah. as well. But then they introduce other mechanics, such as a beach ball here, which allows you to throw it at Boing. some of these ladies and you get that many turns where they're like stunned which obviously allowed me to get past that one knock a bitch out knock her right out this would be kind of terrifying actually if this was kind of like how it was if you had to like tread in space without moving and touching anybody in the pool if you found yourself in this situation yes. where you were like on a grid well like I said this really the movement of these ladies and the way that it is like when you move and they move it reminds me of Silent Hill the nurses in yes, Silent Hill I can see what you mean every time you would like touch one or they would like sense you they would start to move but then if every th- everybody was quiet and you didn't touch anybody then they don't move this is what this reminds me of in it, it, it has like a weird s- similarity to it that is, yeah. yeah I can see what you mean So the other mechanic that's introduced here is those corner arrows allow the ladies to to turn the corner instead of just going linear like they normally do. So you gotta keep that in mind when you're navigating this swimming hell. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think you got this one last night, didn't I? You did. You you gave it it up and on it? She better turn. She will, but then you got the girl underneath you who's gonna come back right now. But you can go over and down. Isn't she gonna go? You'll be fine. You can go yeah. over and down. Yep. See. Bada boom. Look at my footprints. <laughs> oh, what's up? <laughs> Doubt me. Look how that—that's your way of uh, showing what's up. No. God bless it all, Cody. <laughs> I guess you gotta go down to seven. They give you just like. Different Snippets ones of from the different each. levels, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't like this jellyfish level. This one sucks. So the jellyfish are like getting hit with the ball. You get stunned for X amount of turns. Where's the ladder? Well, you gotta oh, go you gotta go up deck. that way. Okay. So this is like a double pool oh, scenario. Yes. So it's kind of cool how like com- like complex it gets though. Yes. Then obviously the new swimmer jumps in. So now your your number of turns went away. So now you're back. She's all right. It's yeah, all right. You got this. Ooh, she made my, my body rattle. <laughs> did, the, did the controller vibrate? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. I need to catch one of these suckers, don't I? Dang it. Yeah, so now here's another thing. The, the net will stop multiple opponents, or whatever these are referred to as, <clears throat> It'll stop them all on the same square, like this. That's right. Allowing you to... Let's see, this is what happens. 
Fuck. <laughs> I think I figured this one out last night. It took a whole bunch of back and forth. Yeah, until so you, you have to him. have like two or three spaces before the ladder. Yeah. They eventually kind of move. Right. And I would recommend actually doing it above it so that you go up, down, and then that way you don't end up needing to do two moves to get to the net. Obviously, unless you're up, but... Whatever works. Whatever works, really. <laughs> At the end of the it day. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. I think that they're gonna turn back and get you. Oh. I don't know what that was. I don't know. Shit. Well, try, keep trying it to see if you'll time them out. Oh, there's a girl right behind me. I just got it by chance, like when I waited. Patsy. This one gets tricky. The, the girls on their back, from the backstrokes, they take like. Yes. Um, they take like two turns on one square, it seems like sometimes. They do. Yeah, they, they do. do. They do when they, when they reach the edge. I'm just gonna take this. Oh, you might have it after this. Oh no, she's gonna swim back right away. Yeah, go down. You got it. It's just like a. It's a waiting yeah. game. Yeah. We have not I haven't played seen this yet. one yet. I see a countdown by this little water inlet thing, so I assume that some water is going to come rushing in. Better hustle. I don't know what the stars do. Oh, fish, okay. Oh, fish. Oh, fish. Oh, fish. Oh, fish. Oh. Is that how I said it? Yeah. Oh, fish. Oh, fish. Okay. Oh, fish. Oh, I got this little fish. <laughs> that should be oh, like your shit. new mantra when you get pissed off instead of saying. Motherfuck! Oh fish, you'll stay so calm. What is the chick with her arrows doing? That's her oh, ripples. Oh, or her ripples stun you apparently. She got some wicked ripples. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch has some wicked ripples. Uh, Make yeah, that no. booty ripple, girl. Oh no, she's gonna jump. You see her Maybe. gearing up. See? Uh, I couldn't remember which square she landed on. Which square? Square. Which square she landed on in there? <laughs> that there pool down there? Square. Oh lord. Oh, I don't know how I'd like swim so calmly with I've big koi around me. Stunned by a fish. <laughs> oh fish. <laughs> oh fish. <laughs> I wish I could stay that calm in life where I get angry and I just have. Oh. Contemplative oh, moments. Watch How to this. live life better. She's gonna gear up. There. No. Okay. Oh, her damn ripple. Stunned. This is tough, dude. All right, we gotta we gotta figure this out. I think you need to go like around the perimeter so you don't get the ripple. Go around the bottom perimeter. Okay. I'm gonna eat a fish for three turns first. Eat that fish. No protein. Uh, protein. Go up. Down. I'm just gonna get the stars that's over right here. Gotta get away from those ripples. There you go. Now go up. Oh! Oh! Okay. No. Nope. Oh, it was her stupid ripple again. Well, what the hell? Can I try one? Let me try one more. I'm gonna shot this. I like all the sounds. Yes. <laughs> that was so accurate. No. I don't care right there. That's fine. I'm just, I'll probably would go up and down to get her to move anyway. Now follow her and get out of her way. And now go back one because she's gonna jump and wait. Go where? Up. Into the ripple, though, hon. When she... Oh, it stays? Oh, yeah. I thought it, like, faded. But I might have it now. No, because she's going to jump right now. Fucking bitch. This one's tough. I wonder if i got to be in the top row. Maybe, yeah. She needs to stop doing cannonballs. 
And here comes the fish. Go down. I know. I'm just <laughs> looking at what's going on here. I love how there's like a random bonfire at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it would be warm. Yes. Warm up and dry up by the fire, maybe. Whatever works. I have a hard time visualizing this one. I don't think it's going to work down here. It's going to need to be up here. Oh, yeah. D duh. As I finish it. <laughs> you did it. Oh, you got your kebabs. Oh, and your guitar. Speaking of shish kebab. I think we move on to the next. Swim out. I, again, I, w I wouldn't spend more than maybe like five bucks on it, but it's pretty awesome. I, yeah, I think it's more of a game meant for like a cell phone or something though in a way. I don't know if I would bother. I mean, I guess when I, you're on the handheld version yeah. and not the big screen version, it probably makes sense. I don't know if this is a Switch exclusive or not, so maybe yeah. it is available. It just seems like a phone app more than anything to me, but I like it. Yes. I like it a lot. Yes, indeed. Next up is Bleep Bloop. Another kind of like puzzly game that I thought was kind of neat. Uh, you have two gelatinous QB guys that you uh, can only move up, down, left, or right, and you have to match them up in certain ways on the board to uh, like exit the stage and whatnot. It's kind of interesting. I, I really like the expressions that you get mm -hmm. just out of their little black eyes. Oh, they love each other. Little buddies. Like, we're trapped in this hell would together. You be, would you be bleep or would you be bloop? Well, it's hard to say which one's bleep and which one's bleep. I it's in the color. It's in the title, isn't it? That they're the different that colors. They're are colored really... a certain way. Yeah. I have a feeling that red is bleep and yellow is bloop. Yeah. What what leads you to, to think this? Because I, I feel like in my did I have it right? No, that's I didn't. That's the end of the demo right there. Um, bleep is apparently yellow and bloop. Is I want to be bloop. You want to be red? <laughs> I want to be blue. <laughs> I don't care which color, I just want the name. So see how there's these checkered things, that's like where they teleport to the next stage. I don't understand what the little like spray paint art 92 pictures are in between. I'm not sure. It's um, something to do with the stage, I would think, but it doesn't always seem to go that way. What I'm trying to do, obviously, is line them up so I can get them down, as you just saw. I know we figured this one out last night. I think I remember what the deal was. Yes. Except it has to go up left. Doesn't it? No, because you can't go back down, otherwise you'll go all the way back across. Now go up. There. Yeah, and you just kind of walk them over, right? Yeah. Inch boom, 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 bleep, there. Blop, bloop, blop, bleep, bitch. <laughs> bloop, blop, bleep. You try bleach. one. Bleach. <laughs> I don't know. Bleach, blotch, bleach. Well, before we... It, we can't go through that one up there because that takes us out of the demo. But you can play any of these other ones. May I? I mean... That's why we're here. I'm getting my, my <laughs> controls way mixed up here. It throws me bloop, off when bloop they're like... Bloop is right yeah. and bleep is left. <laughs> it just majorly throws me off when um, it's like the characters on the right side of the screen and the left side of the screen. It's like I want to use that control to... Oh, yeah, yeah. I, my pneumatic device, I think is what you call that. I mnemonic just, device. Mm. Is, is how I know uh, that the red for R is R for right, the right stick. Yes, I mean, I, I thought of that too, <laughs> but my brain overpowers Mnemonic my... device. We got you. We got it now. We learned something tonight, everybody. Did it! <laughs> and I Katie can't. still has not gotten out of it. <laughs> I can't. You do this. Show me the way. I don't know if I remember off the top of my head, but let's give it a shot. My brain is... Run and dry. Not on the sharpest stick. Watch this. Ow! Look at you. <laughs> so proud of you. Taking care of your Now what are you going to do? I'm going to get out of the hair is what I'm going to do. Bro. Bro? Bro? <laughs> but I know it's not quite this easy, is it? Go back down together <laughs> and then... Nope. There it is. 
I was gonna sing a little twangy song for I you. like my puzzle games. I do like I don't like my scene at time no, trivia yeah, games, but I but there. I like my puzzle games. So that is um what the hell is this called? <laughs> bleep bloop. Bleep bloop. Uh before we go, I wanna show what happens though when you do <laughs> that. I love that. Yes, it's super cute. It, it looks like it's it doesn't look like it hurts or anything, but it looks like they There's feel like, awkward. Oh shit. You're inside like, like of me. Did, I'm did I go inside? <laughs> he he entered me. Yes. <laughs> the eyes. Bleep. Bloop. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna just talk like Roseanne for every episode from now on and see how many people I'm, I'm we sure, get dropping out. I'm sure no one will get annoyed. Everybody would love it. Yes. So next up is a game that many people probably know very well, but Katie does not. And it's a game I've been telling her about. Katamari Damacy. This was originally released for the PlayStation 2, I believe. And it is a game where you are a small prince. <laughs> I'm a small prince you, every day of my life. <laughs> and you uh, roll a ball around that has items magically stick to it, and it gets larger and larger and larger until... I recognize his little weird mallet head now. Well, let's just watch, though. Because you said you've never played this. That's like a fever dream. It is kind of a fever dream. <laughs> In the, in the most, in the those most amazing way, in the most, in the most Japanesey, interesting kind of way. <laughs> Rainbows, mallards. Wow. Whoa. This is why I won't That's do things. That's his son, the That's, little prince. Oh my! God. Look at that one on the left. That's hey, awesome. and those look like leaves, like from our logo. This is. See, they know what's up. Yeah, marijuana leaves <laughs> and magic mushrooms, and this is what you're gonna see. This is why we don't, we don't fuck with. Oh, speak for yourself. Going to this land and never leave. It looks kind of it's amazing. It's like if Monty Python was a cartoon. It's like Japanese Monty Python. I love how no. his voice is like, like a record scratch. Yeah, really. We really. We really did it. We have really did it. <laughs> what are next? <laughs> We were, we were naughty. No snotty. How can you not be naughty with a bulge like that, Space King? Yeah. <laughs> you and us. Quite good to be so naughty. Oh, that's how it was. He's like, don't even ask me. That's just how it was. <laughs> Did you see the star splintering in perfect beauty? It sounds like some cheesy guy who's trying to talk to you after he's had sex with you and like thinks that he did like some really magical stuff and he's like, Didn't you see how the stars were splitting? Not me. She's we not were referring so to me. So naughty and that's just the way it was. <laughs> are you are you speaking from experience, Katie? <laughs> Actually no. <laughs> I made that up. So he sends you on these missions to Earth where you have to get your you have to get your ball to a certain size. Oh, Okay. And it's <laughs> shish kebab, and it uh starts as this uh, colorful little nubby thing. It looks like a baby toy. It does. Stop talking. So are you supposed to avoid all the sharp things? No, actually, everything no, sticks to it. Everything. Yeah, there, there's like an alarm that goes off when you're gonna bump into something that'll cause a problem. And what? It, I think you can run into enemies or whatever you want to call them. And they just knock stuff off of your ball, basically. What's interesting about this game, other than the complete visual presentation, is um, the controls. If you like, watch what I'm doing with the sticks. This is how you like steer it, like this. Like you have to like do them opposites, kind of. Oh, that's gonna suck for me. So you might that. fumble around a little, but you get used to it. You do get used to it. Ow! So, what is the object of the game? To get your ball up to a certain size. Oh, okay. I think 10 centimeters there on the left is my goal, and I'm already at six. Oh, or is okay. ten, 10 might be when it like transforms to a larger scale. You'll see. See this? Yeah. Like the camera like backs up a bit, and the ball gets bigger. I don't know how crazy it's gonna get in this demo level, but in the 
some of the later levels, it's awesome because like you'll start just picking up like lawnmowers and stuff, and then all of a sudden you're picking up buildings mm -hmm. by the time it's fully developed. So it's pretty cool. And he has all that charming Japanese weirdness that everybody loves, right? True. I certainly do. I want to go to Japan. I know we've talked about that. Someone hook us up with a visit to Japan, and we'll do a show live from Japan. That would be epic. I would so do a show. Are they, are they like fans of marijuana in Japan? Not, I don't know. I'm, I'm asking for a friend. I don't know. That I really don't know. I know they like sex, but I could, I'm totally fucking up right now because I'm pigeonholing them. Yes, be careful. <laughs> Anyways, want to give it a quick try? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is how I wish I could, like, clean up my house. <laughs> <laughs> but what would you do with a gigantic ball of stuff? Oh, I don't even oh, know. Oh, you barely got to come. What a nice... What is, the, what is the meaning of Katamari, then? I would have to look it up. I'm assuming it's a Japanese word. Oh, oh! oh. Do you kind of get it? I'm getting there. I feel like I'm not moving as fast as you are. Well... Yeah, you know, you know. my brain. <laughs> I'm missing everything, and there's shit everywhere, and somehow I'm still <laughs> fucking missing it. Damashi. How am I missing such a fucking oh, thing? Here we go. Urban. It's an. It must be in like an, a slang word or something, because it's an urban dictionary. Yeah. Japanese word meaning clump. Oh, a nice clump, bitch. I don't know why that was so aggressive. Girl, I want to make sweet love to your Katamari. <laughs> you gave me a Katamari in my pants. Mm. <laughs> my hair is so Katamari-y today. Clumpy? Clumpy? People have clumpy, clumpy hair, hair problems. <laughs> Ooh, this, this cake batter is so Katamari-y. lumpy -y. I have a catamari in my scrotum. Do you think I should see a doctor? Oh man, I found a catamari in my <laughs> a clump in my scrotum. A clump. That's different than a lump. <laughs> <Sounds like> a <laughs> I think you should see a doctor. Oh my god, I'm really not doing very well at this. But do you hear how the siren's going off and it's counting down from 20 seconds? But you've already surpassed the 10 centimeter goal. Oh, is that why it's not picking anything else up? No, I'm saying you should be clear. You can always do better, but. And I'm sure you've noticed that when some items are too large to pick up, as your ball gets Oops. bigger, you'll eventually be able to pick them up. Oh, uh, that's it. A royal rainbow! From his mouth. That's sweet. He's been mixing his alcohols. But what's cool is he takes your ball. Snacks. Oh, it counts. First snack, second stationary, third games. Is that like my he contents takes your, of my... Yeah. Hand? He takes your ball, though, and turns it into a star. Or something. I think he turns it into constellations and stuff, too. It's amazing. So that's Katamari, in a nutshell. I like it. It's pretty awesome, actually. It's very, very bizarre, which I like. It's very Japanese. Yes. For sure. Well, that was Demo Delights. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, please send us those likes and subscriptions. We can't do it without you guys. So uh, we hope you had a great time. And uh, also comment, you know, feel free to interact with us. Let us know a game that you might want to see on the show. We'd, we'd love to hear from everybody. Yeah. So thanks again. We'll see you next time for the next game. Bye, guys.